Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. This video is a book review of Tension by E. M. Delafield. This book I was very, very kindly sent for review from the publisher, which is the British Library, as part of the British Library Women Writers series. I was approached by the British Library and asked if I would like to have this book and Mama by Diana Tutton, both for review and both to be part of the blog tour which is currently taking place to celebrate the release of both of these books. If you don't know what the British Library Women Writers series do, they republish women writers at the early part of the 20th century and republish them for modern readers because I have no idea why some of these books ever went out of print but there we go, apparently they did. I have already done a review of Mama by Diana Tutton. Spoilers, I loved it. I will leave the link for the video for you to watch up here. Now I'm on to talking Tension by E.M. Delafield. So Tension by E.M. Delafield was first published in 1920 and is set at kind of like a, a college technical, I suppose. They do classes like uh, learning shorthand and also typing, things like that. And they have a new worker come to join them at the college that kind of looks after everything uh, called Miss Marchrose. Now, the director and his wife are having a chat and talking about this new position and that, you know, the position has been filled by this Miss Marchrose. And the director's wife is like, oh, that sounds very familiar, that name. And she thinks uh, that there was someone of the same name as her that um, broke off an engagement to a man that they thought was very suitable for her, but she decided to break it off. And so, the director's wife, Lady Roster, she decides to go on this campaign, if you will, to find out firstly if it is this Miss Marchrose that broke off the engagement, which it was. Um, not really spoilers, <laughs> it's there. Um, and secondly, from then on to kind of go in for her and essentially try to get her to leave because she doesn't think she's a suitable person to be working in the college and certainly not an appropriate lady sort of thing. It's not the done thing in society, put it that way. And so our director's wife just goes in for her. She goes in on this whispering and this gossiping and just bitching and it's horrible. And she's doing it to absolutely everyone that has some sort of influence or works at the college um, and around and She's not very nice. And it definitely ups the ante when Miss Marchrose becomes interested in Mark, who's also um, involved in the college as well. Mark is a married man, but his marriage is difficult, shall we say. And um, our director's wife has certain views on this and she's definitely trying to bat Miss Marchrose away. Um, like, get away from him, get away from Mark. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about the plot of the book because obviously I don't want to spoil it for you. Now of course you want to know if I enjoyed it. Yes, I really, really did. Before reading Tension, the only E.M. Delafield I had read is the Provincial Lady sort of series. I can't remember how many in the series I have read. Um, so of course there is the Diary of the Provincial Lady, which is the most famous, but there are a few others as well. Her daughter even wrote one of, um, as well. Uh, the daughter of a provincial lady, it's something like that. And they're quite well-known, famous books. And if you've read any E.M. Delafield, the, the provincial lady books are probably the ones that you've read. They're very funny, warm, witty, charming, uh, sarcastic. <laughs> I like them, bit of sass to them. I really enjoy them. And I didn't know that E.M. Delafield had wrote novels until learning about tension and oh I really 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 enjoyed it I thought it was really really good and definitely think you should pick it up too. Something that I do love about this book and actually this book as well I, I found I found Mama was very similar is it's they're very much books of their time and this book in particular as I said was published in 1920. Now in 1920 our views on engagement and marriage and what makes a suitable marriage is very different to today, over a hundred years since this was first published. Also, how things are with Mark and his wife is also very different to today as well. And therefore, Lady Rossiter's concerns in modern society, they wouldn't be concerns. It's completely different. It's a completely different world that we live in, despite the fact that this was only just over a hundred years ago. But it's fascinating to read about because it's literally time capsule. 
It's that time capsuling that period of time, which both of these have done exceptionally well at. Now, as well as a plot that I really enjoyed, because I do love a good, good old gossipy plot, I really, really like having characters to love to hate. <laughs> and although I don't think many of the characters in here are likeable, I don't think that matters at all. I mean, I did feel sorry for Miss Marchrose at times, and also for Mark as well. I think he's in a difficult situation. Lady Roster stole the show for me. She kind of reminded me of Lady B um, from The Imp Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. I love Lady B. I think she's quite funny um, and she gets away with it because she's Lady B. But she is really in everyone's business, even though she really doesn't need to be. Like, it's not her place, but she thinks it is her place. So she gets her nose and beacon and it's like, oh, just leave everyone alone. But I really love the character. And Lady Roster reminded me of Lady B. La uh, Lady Roster is someone who's really getting in everyone's business and fueling this gossip even though it's none of her business, it's just her opinion. And her opinion on Miss Martrose as if it matters to her, which it doesn't, but she thinks it's gonna reflect on the college and therefore a reflection on her and her husband. It's like, oh love, give it a rest. But it's so brilliant because I just love when you get a book and you can really dislike a character and I really disliked her and it was so much fun to read. In terms of the writing style, I really enjoyed it. I had to read it a bit like how I read a Jane Austen, so quite quiet and read it really, really slowly to soak it all in because I think E.M. Delafield has this writing style in which it's quite an intellectual sort of writing style. It's quite worked in a way in which you can tell she's gone over it quite a few times to make it the best it possibly can be. And I like that. I like, I like light and shade when it comes to writing style. I like either really, really quick read, it just in and out, super quick, or I like ones where it takes quite a while. And I read this over the course of about a week, which is actually really quite long for me, but I just wanted to soak it all in and I certainly did that. I think Simon Thomas, who's the series consultant for these books, who always writes the ass word, I feel like he hit the nail on the head when he wrote this about E.M. Delafield's writing style. And this is, I think, the best way to describe it rather than me trying to uh, somehow get it across to you. And he said, readers who have previously enjoyed the company of the provincial lady will see echoes of the same ironic wit in tension, albeit echoes that came 10 years earlier, but there is less flippancy. I think that describes it perfectly. So there we have it. That is my review of Tension by Ian Delafield. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I conveyed to you my love of this book and of Ian Delafield and of the series in general. I do just love it. Thanks again to the British Library for sending me a copy and asking me to be part of their blog tour. I have really enjoyed it and reading what other people think of the two new releases. They're both wonderful, wonderful books. Now, I love this series, as you know, and some of you do tell me when you pick up the books uh, that I have reviewed. I have reviewed every single one of the uh, books that have currently come out in the series, so let me know. Keep me up to date on which books in the series you have read, which ones you have adored, which ones are some of your favourite reads, or which ones are still on your to get to list, to buy list, your wish list, to get from the library list. I really want to know. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments and I shall see you soon for the next video. Take care for now. Bye.